Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to create videos with ChatGPT and Pictory. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link down below where you can try Pictory for free. Should you want to upgrade, I will also have a coupon code which can save you a bunch of money for quickly creating those fast YouTube videos. Nevertheless, let's get started with ChatGPT first. I'm going to go ahead and quickly create a script. I put, I'd like a script for a short video. The video talks about the three reasons why YouTube is the best social media platform for marketers. I didn't put a whole lot here, but what I can do is always you know tell it more to maybe fine-tune it change things up so I'm gonna click on the green arrow here or the green button and once this is done loading I will get back to you and we will quickly go over it okay so we just finished and going back up there's a lot of like opening shots narrators scene transitions but if we look at the reasons we have unmatched reach and engagement uh, powerful analytics and targeting, uh, endless creative possibilities. Looks good to me. So I just said, I would like to change two things with the script, remove all the opening shots, narrators, and cut the visual phrases. Like I don't need all these in here and you know, so on and so forth. It's gonna make it easier for me to just copy and paste it and make it much shorter. I just don't wanna do a video that's gonna take you know a full hour. So I just wanna show you a little bit of a shorter thing because once you know how to create a smaller video, it's the same thing as creating a longer video. So I'm gonna do this and I'll be back when it's done. All right, and this is so much better, a whole lot shorter, and you can see we can easily use this as a script. We just gotta change these around so that would be a two and that would be a three, like in background music fades out. We don't need that, so I'm just gonna copy this. And let's just copy all of this right here, and let's head on over to Pictory. So we have our script now, let's click on Proceed with the script to video. And I'm just gonna paste this in right here. So this is gonna be the title, or at least just the, the video name for it, right? So I'll put that there. And let's see, so that looks pretty simple. What I like doing here is pretty much using one sentence usually per line, just to kind of make it more slides. So I'm gonna hit enter here and enter there. That looks good. This is just move forward. So that's gonna be number two. And let's move this as a space armed with these insights. It's funny, I'm using a different computer and the mouse is also different. It's so hard to get used to when you haven't used it. And this is just like YouTube Unleash your uh, marketing potential. I don't really think you need that part. And I'll just put like a very you know quick like, thank you for watching. This could be a call to action. So depending on how you wanna create your video, what your goal is, maybe you want them to subscribe, uh, check out a webinar, maybe check out your newsletter, You know, click the link down below to join our YouTube newsletter, just as an example. All right, so be sure to check out the link down below if you'd like to sign up for our YouTube tips newsletter. So that's gonna be like the end call to action, just this part here. That's really gonna be up to you, but that's a good example of what these scripts can look like. We have one, two, three. I kept it simple just so it, like I said, the video doesn't take forever to do, but let's click on proceed. And I really like this one. I just happen to like the colors. When you're going to choose a video here, mostly just look for like the colors and the font and the text overall, how it looks. Like the backgrounds don't matter because that's what you're always gonna be changing. But I happen to like the corporate one and this is gonna be for say like YouTube videos. So I'm gonna click on this one. This could be for vertical or maybe the one by one. Up to you, but let's go with 16 by nine. And this is gonna give it a sec to load. Once this is done, I will be back and we can check out the storyboard editor. All right, so in case you are not familiar with Pictory, like on the left side is gonna be, if we wanted to change any of this, you know, like we can double click it. I'm just gonna re-put it back in there. That's where you can change that. If you wanted to split the scene, you can do that. Maybe it's too long, but we already have our script. We know that's pretty good. And the next biggest thing, what you're gonna wanna do is overall going to be these specific scenes. So overall, like the first scene, what I like doing is saying, does this match up with what we're looking to, you know, talk about here? So this is YouTube. Someone is watching maybe YouTube on a social media platform. That can definitely work there. Let's look at this one. Here are three key reasons why. Why should you choose us? Probably could be a little bit better. So now that we've realized that, we can go to visuals. Let's do like key reasons. Sometimes the, something good will come up for it. Sometimes it won't. Like that one's not that bad. That person's counting, right? Like the, the big reasons. All we have to do is click on it and it's automatically going to change. Let's go to the next one. Unparall unparalleled reach and engagement. I think that one's actually pretty good. Like people excited dancing around. It could be something a little bit in different, but let's try it out. Engagement. 
Okay, when I put engagement, they literally mean engagement, like getting married. So that one's actually not too bad. From my perspective, how Pictory is gonna work, it's gonna look for a lot of these like specific keywords and find a video that it thinks is gonna be related to it. Sometimes it will be, sometimes it won't. Like for example, this could have engagement and it could have had one of these, but it didn't. So I think that one's pretty good. Let's look at scene four. Okay, talking about YouTube, someone typing it in, perfect. Diverse audience from small niches to global markets. So this one's actually not too bad because this can definitely be a niche like beauty, obviously applying some makeup. Uh, coming and sharing, have a sense of community, amplifying your brands. Okay, let's change this one. Let's do like YouTube. Let's see if we can do comment to make it a little bit more specific. <clears throat> okay, let's go back. Let's just do YouTube. How about audience? <clears throat> let's see, not that one. So let's go back to YouTube. I think that one's good, like it's building your audience and your brand, so let's click on that, and that one can change. Let's move down a little bit more. So we were at, let's go back over here. Let's go to seven. Data-driven insights and targeting. So people using a computer, when it comes to maybe, there's some data there in the background, so that one's not too bad. Let's go to eight. Analytics tools. So. So let's do like YouTube analytics. Maybe we'll get some more data or numbers there. Once again, that one's good. That one's not too bad, right? Just like analytics from all over the world. I can see that one working. Okay, scene nine. Okay, that one's viewing habits, viewership. That's cool. Let's see. YouTube, let's just say like geography. Let's see what comes up with that with your target audience, like that could work, you know, based upon where they live, right? Your perfect audience might be in a specific spot of the world. So once again, targeting options, YouTube, let's just say like traffic sources. No, not that one. <laughs> YouTube, let's do traffic. Let's change that up. Let's go back to YouTube. Since this was targeting options, and let's see. You could just do like a plain one with YouTube, that's fine. Endless creative opportunities. I mean, that one's not that bad. Like roads are, you know, signify a lot of opportunities, ways to go. I'll keep that there. Endless creative possibilities, uh, your brand story through our long form videos. I mean, that one's pretty bland, but it kind of fits whether it's your brand or your, your product, whatever it's going to be. I'm just gonna kind of change the ones that are like really far out. Uh, that one is good. I like that one. Let's see what scene are we on here. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Scene 16. Thank you for watching. Let's do a different one. Let's see if we can actually do thank you for watching and see if there's something more specific. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. And then we have scene 17. Be sure to check out the link down below if you'd like to sign up for our YouTube newsletter. So let's do newsletter. Something like that is perfect. That too, right? Email newsletter, perfect. And of course there is the ability to use an intro and an outro scene. I personally don't like using those just cause like whenever I do my YouTube videos, I like them being straight to the point. You'll notice in this one, it took maybe what, 15 seconds to start getting into it. I've seen videos where it's like five minutes, six minutes, seven minutes in and they still haven't gotten down to the main point and it's so annoying. So I don't personally like using those. I will talk a little, but I don't need like an extra intro or outro. I just find it very annoying. So some of the other things that you can add are gonna be some elements. Like they do have emojis, they have gifts, they have stickers. If you wanna add that extra like flair to it or anything like that. Nevertheless, there's gonna be the aspect of audio. So in the background, there's already some audio applied. Unfortunately, the computer that I'm using, for some odd reason, when I go to record, I can hear all the sound, but you can't. So playing it isn't gonna do much but there's a lot for you to choose from. There is also the uh, ability to utilize voiceovers. They have plenty of English speakers. They have English UK, Australian, India, New Zealand, and of course, African. You can sort it by male or female. What you can also do is actually just use your own voice as well. So if I go over right here, I can actually record a voiceover. So, so let's pretend I was reading this one. It would be here are the three key reasons why. What I can do is just click press to record. Here are the three key reasons why, and hit stop. And then of course, just simply hit apply. 
And what's gonna happen is that it's going to be utilized in that specific scene, as you can see right there, scene two. Like if I was gonna play it, you would be able to hear me saying, here are the three key reasons why. So you can actually use your own voiceover if you want throughout all of it, where you just read it, go to the next one and continue. You can also just upload them if needed. So if you're using Pictory with any other type of voiceover software, you can upload it right here. So that's another great way of using Pictory with like not only ChatGPT, but other voiceover softwares. You can combine a lot of great things. I might do some more videos on that if there's a lot of interest or, you know, if I need to. Uh, aside from that, there are going to be the ability to add text or there'd be a heading, subheading, and body text. So aside from what we have here from our script, there can be added a little bit more. Styles, I don't use too much. I pretty much just keep it as it is. This is going to be what this looks like. And that's pretty much chosen when we picked our original template. So I like keeping it that way because I think it looks good. But if you want to change it around, this is going to be the area. And of course, we have branding. Let's say we have our, let's see, scenes right here. Now I want to upload a logo so I can watermark it. Let's do that. I'm just going to upload that very quickly. All right, so there's my logo. I think it looks a little bit too big, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. We can choose where we want it to go, maybe the top left, the top middle, probably not the middle middle. I think that's just obnoxious, you know. Uh, top right's gonna do, usually I have my watermark on YouTube on the bottom right, so a spot like that. We can do the opacity too, so if you wanna make it look like a ghost where it's barely there, or we can make it a little bit stronger, that's gonna be up to you. And just like that, it's actually gonna be added to all of the different scenes that we have here, so that's gonna be helpful, a great way to watermark your videos overall and pretty much that's going to be like how you can actually create a video there's not too much more there is the format aspect make sure you go to 1080 also here p so that you get the higher quality and the landscape's going to be fine we chose that originally this is going to be what you want to use say if you're doing a youtube video last but not least is going to be the download aspect where you can go ahead and download that and that pretty much is how you can use chat gpt and pictory to combine the script with the video that you create as you'll notice it doesn't take a whole lot of time once you come up with the script. It's more about, I'd say, the most time that's going to be taken here is going through and making a lot, sure a lot of the videos actually match with each of the video scripts in each of the scenes. Many times they're going to be good. And my tip for that is that if you go in your script, try and add some much clearly defined keywords here. Like so unparalleled reach and engagement. Like we said before, if it sees engagement, they might think that it's someone getting married. But if we said YouTube offers unparalleled reach so that you can find your perfect audience when marketing. When I change it around like that, probably a few more words, but it's giving it much more context. So it's gonna be easier to find a lot of the video scenes that you need. Nevertheless, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you wanna test out Pictory, I will leave my link down below. They do come with a free trial and there is gonna be that coupon code. Should you wanna upgrade, you can save some money. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.